The dark legacy of King Leopold II, a brutal reign of exploitation and atrocity in the Congo Free State, King Leopold II of Belgium, often held as a visionary monarch and patron of the arts, harbored a sinister secret beneath his polished facade. His reign over the Congo Free State from 1885 to 1908 was marked by unspeakable brutality, exploitation, and genocide on an unimaginable scale. This essay delves into the dark story of King Leopold II, whose insatiable greed and disregard for human life resulted in the deaths of over 15 million Africans. Leopold's involvement in Africa began with grandiose aspirations of colonial expansion and economic gain. Eager to establish Belgium as a colonial power and secure access to the lucrative resources of the Congo Basin. Leopold cunningly maneuvered to lay claim to the region under the guise of humanitarianism and philanthropy. He exploited the international community's support for colonialism and framed his colonization efforts as a noble mission to civilize and uplift the indigenous population. However, behind the facade of benevolence lay a ruthless quest for profit and power. Leopold ruthlessly exploited the Congo's vast reserves of rubber, ivory, and minerals implementing a brutal system of forced labor and extraction that exacted a heavy toll on the Congolese people. Under his reign, the Congo Free State became a nightmarish landscape of violence, coercion, and exploitation where indigenous communities were subjected to forced labor. Mutilation and death at the hands of Leopold's agents, central to Leopold's reign of terror was the system of forced labor known as the Rabba Terror. Indigenous people were brutally coerced into harvesting wild rubber from the dense rainforests of the Congo, often at the expense of their lives and livelihoods. Those who failed to meet production quotas or resisted exploitation were subjected to unimaginable brutality, including mutilation, torture, and execution. The infamous chicot, the whip made from dried hippopotamus hide, became a symbol of terror and oppression wielded mercilessly by Leopold's overseers to enforce compliance and extract maximum productivity from their enslaved labor force. The horrors of Leopold's regime were further compounded by rampant violence, disease, and starvation. Whole communities were decimated by forced labor, displacement, and the destruction of traditional livelihoods. Indigenous populations were subjected to widespread atrocities, including mass killings, village burnings, and systematic rape and pillage. The Congo Free State became a living hell for its inhabitants, a vast killing field where human life held little to no value in the pursuit of profit and power. The true extent of Leopold's crimes only came to light through the efforts of courageous individuals and investigative journalists who exposed the horrors of the Congo Free State to the world. Eyewitness accounts, photographic evidence, and first-hand testimonies documented the atrocities committed under Leopold's rule, sparking international outrage and condemnation. The Belgian government, under mounting pressure from the international community, eventually intervened to wrest control of the Congo Free State from Leopold's grip in 1908, transforming it into a Belgian colony known as the Belgian Congo. Despite the end of Leopold's direct rule, the legacy of his reign continues to haunt the Congo and its people to this day. The scars of colonization run deep, manifesting in ongoing socio-economic disparities, political instability, and inter-ethnic tensions. The trauma inflicted upon generations of Congolese people by Leopold's brutal regime reverberates through the collective memory of the nation. Serving as a stark reminder of the enduring legacy of colonialism and exploitation in Africa, in conclusion, King Leopold II's reign over the Congo Free State stands as a chilling reminder of the depths of human depravity and the horrors of unchecked power and greed. His ruthless pursuit of wealth and prestige resulted in the deaths of over 15 million Africans and untold suffering for countless others. The story of King Leopold II serves as a cautionary tale of the devastating consequences of colonialism and exploitation, highlighting the urgent need for justice, reconciliation, and accountability in the pursuit of a more just and equitable world.